I led up to all of this. Can you tell me what happened? Um, so I was leaving my, I came home early in between my two clients and Jai used my car and I asked him where he took my car at because he took my car to like at the shop and left it there mm -hmm. and I said well did you leave how long did you leave it there and what what did they do I, my car is not right right in the way I just got my car fixed so he wouldn't answer me so I walked back to the room and I went back into the living room where he was at and I, he and he got up to he got up to like grab his stuff mm -hmm. and I said I'm talking to you answer me and so I threw a glass but I, it went over to his head like a candle mm -hmm. but it went over his head it didn't touch him uh -huh. and then he grabbed me up and threw me in the living room, which was something we he never ever ever done uh -huh. and we have had arguments but he never ever put his hands on me ever uh -huh. and I was trying to get him off of me I was getting a knife because I know like he's stronger than I am way stronger than my I know and out of impulse, like I said, you know, that's my, yeah, a lot. It was tussle in the kitchen. I went outside because he carried, he carried one of my other guns. I went outside and mm -hmm. got a gun because I didn't want him to hurt me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm taking responsibility. That's my child. I don't want nothing to happen to any of my kids. Well, how did things go down outside? He started walking up to me. I ain't know if he had to him or not. You know, like, that's the gun that I gave to him. So, because he, where he work at, but, like, I didn't know. He kept walking up, and that's when I pointed it at him. But, y'all, that's my son. I ain't never. Where'd you get the gun from? I bought the gun in New Lexington. I bought two of them in New Lexington because I own a, I own a home help and I have a contract with the Veterans Department. So I used to drive from where we live at to New Lexington at night time. Mm -hmm. So my my um, patient took me over there, took me over there. Okay, where was it there? Where where, where did you keep the gun that you're going to get the gun at? Where do you keep your gun at? In, in the armrest of the car. I don't really bring it into the house because we inside the house. I only take it when I need to go like work. If I'm out, it's locked in the armor. Mm -hmm. Is that where it was today? But I thought he was going to, he never ever had done that to me. You see in my house, like threw me around, squeezing me up like I'm going to kill you and your boyfriend. I don't even know why he was saying that he would kill me and my boyfriend. Like that's not even my boyfriend. That's just somebody that comes over my house. Like, he never say that. Did you see a gun on him today? I, but I don't know. Did he threaten you with a gun? Did he say he was going to get his gun? I didn't see it at all. I didn't but did he, he never mentioned it? Never. He's, you just assumed because you gave him one a while back that he had it with him. He carried it with him everywhere you go. He leave it up. He, you know, that's, that's, he shouldn't have went this far, y'all. Uh, but you didn't see it today. He never made I, mention I, of it today. And then back in the house, why did you get the knife out? Because it kept, he grabbed me up and threw me down. He, threw me down on the ground. I kept trying to get him off of him. My kids were trying to get him off of him. I was asking him, like, why did you take my car over there and leave it there? Because, like, he repo cars for somebody. Mm -hmm. So he took your car and left it there to get fixed? Something? No, he took my car over to the place where him and his friend, him and the pa pastor's son, they, he owned a car lot and they was repoing the car early this morning. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't have nothing to hide. You came back out of the house. How long are you sitting outside? I don't know, maybe like four minutes or something like that. When he came out? Yeah, because I kept trying to tell them to throw my phone out and the keys so I can leave. Mm -hmm. But they're like, no, we're calling the police. We're calling the police. And I knew he was going to leave before the police got there because I was going to press charge on him. Because like, he never done that to me before. So why wouldn't they let you back in the house if they were calling the police? Because I, I, they knew my gun is outside. Okay. Yeah. Did so you can't tell them you were going out to get it? They already knew what I was going outside. Yeah. But did they know you were going to get the gun? No, I didn't say that. I mean, he had his gun on me. I said, oh my God. I touched I touch my side. I helped wrap him up in the coat. Coat. Mm -hmm. I thought... So if you didn't see the gun, he didn't threaten you with a gun, why'd you pull the trigger? I mean, 
what were you thinking at that point? That he was going to keep going at it, even coming after me, keep keep going. But did he have his bags with him like he was leaving? Yeah, he had his bags with me, it was like he was leaving. He was laughing. Yeah. So at that point it seemed like he was leaving and the fight was over. Mm-hmm. No? Were you just really mad by that point? No, I wasn't mad, I just... Mm-hmm. I thought he would have that gun on, he always have it on him. Like, I don't know what transpired to be between him saying, I'm going to kill you and your boyfriend to to make it bigger than it. Like, it's fine. They said that's why they locked the door. I didn't speak. I was upset. I didn't speak. I just left. Well, the thing is, is they were both interviewed separately and they both told us you said the same thing, which is a little I odd. didn't speak. So, yeah. how does that happen? Maybe, maybe I did speak, but I don't know. It was... Happened okay. so fast. Because they both, I mean, I admit verbatim what what you said going outside. So you, you clearly said something. Because they were separated immediately when the officers would get there. They didn't have time to get their stories together. Because mm-hmm. one, I I Maya was still that. upstairs when the officers got there. So they didn't have time to get together and say anything. I'm, I'm not saying they did. Okay. I don't remember. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. It was of all facts. So what happened inside when you guys were fighting? Did the girls get involved at all at any point? Yeah, they were trying to. T- they were telling him to stop, S- stop. They were saying stop so she can stop, stop so she can stop, but he wouldn't stop. They said they were trying to take the knife away from you. Because he was, yeah, he was. He's stronger than I am. Uh-huh. I'm going to. I. I. Even the 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 the, the grease. I threw the grease at him because he's on me. Uh-huh. I can't get I mean, we're going off of what they're telling us. It's okay. And it, it sounded the way that they described things. Yeah, I'm that, aggressive. Yeah. And I mean, it, did you ever hit them? When they were like little or or even somebody last year, um, well, the year, not last year, but the year before that, well, graduation time, maybe May. Yeah. I was always a very aggressive parent, so they wouldn't do wrong or stuff. So yeah, I can understand why they say that. What did he say to you after you shot him? He said, oh my, you shot me. And I said, oh my God, you're hot. And then I turned him. Um, I took his, I took uh, the book bag off his back. I put pressure on it. I took the clothes and started trying to wrap him into it. And then he started vomiting. And my daughter was screaming. We was holding the thing. But he didn't survive his injuries. Take me. You can take me. I don't deserve that. He didn't either. Yo. Well, I think you need to do his name justice. And I know that that's not true that he was attacking you. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Both it's okay. Right. It's okay. No, it's I want okay. you to tell the truth. I, 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 I only want the truth. I don't want you to say something just because it's not true. But I don't have to lie. I don't have to lie. I don't have to lie. I'm not going to say I, I, that's not true. Like, I have to live with this, you know what I'm know, saying? I, but I think I'm, you're angry, though. I think you're angry because we all get angry at times. I mean, it's like we both have kids. Both have we don't have frustration to, to try to get through. But um, I think, unfortunately, that you probably were angry and the pressure probably got to you. <laughs> yeah. But I, y'all, I'm so sorry. Sorry, y'all. Your 18-year-old said to tell you that she loves you. I'm sorry, y'all. Tell him I'm sorry. I'm I was so angry because he don't listen to nothing I say. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I be mean, working hard, working, working, working hard, and he don't even. He work at a car like He worked at a car like And I said to you from Youngstown in 2012. Mm-hmm. And I have no support, y'all. None. I go through stuff with them all the time. I'm like, yo, I'm so sorry, yo. No, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I know the pressures, and I feel like that's what happened to me. I feel like you just snapped because you just got so angry. And I would think, I like, no, y'all. What? <laughs> y'all certainly gone for real. No, I killed my son. <laughs> oh God! Oh! <laughs> Jesus have mercy on me. <laughs> What? <laughs> Wait.